historic Mornington Peninsula Trophy home on sale for second time in 100 years. Built in 1909, the historic Nemorna estate is one of the original Sorrento Trophy mansions on the Mornington Peninsula, an upper-class beachside spot located about an hour and a half south of Melbourne. Now, it is up for sale for the second time in more than 100 years. The estate is positioned on a clifftop, spanning 16,866 sqm, and is expected to attract interest above $20 million. The price record for a seaside mansion on the Mornington Peninsula belongs to the Portia Spanish Mission-style mansion, El Yuca, which was sold for $26 million to BRW rich lister John Higgins in 2010. The eight-bedroom trophy home held the Victorian price record until just recently, when the billionaire Beeson family sold their Turak mansion for $26.25 million in December 2016. Nimorna, which means laughing water in the language of the Banjan and Jiru people, is currently owned by former New York-based investment banker Alex Leip. Mr. Leip bought the Grand Federation home a decade ago and has spent the last four years carefully restoring it for modern living. But selling agent Mark Wizzell of CBRE said Nimorna, which consists of four separate and contiguous titles, is likely to attract significant interest from developers. The property offers significant value at angles for developers who may be looking to capitalize on the undersupply of new homes in close proximity to the beach within the Sorrento area. In recent times there has been a groundswell of interest moving back from Portia to Sorrento as many families are attracted to the amenity and close proximity to Sorrento houses compared with what is offered in Portia, Mr. Wizzell said. Portia and Sorrento are neighboring towns located on the shores of Port Phillip on the Mornington Peninsula. Both are regarded as the luxury holiday playgrounds of the social and business elite. Portia makes up the point near the end of the Mornington Peninsula, while Sorrento is just further inland. In addition to straight residential, wider development opportunities such as an aged care facility, hospitality and or some form of conferencing business facility would also be logical outcomes for the property, subject to approvals, Mr. Wizzle added of the development opportunity. However, CBRE is also expecting strong foreign investment interest. According to Mr. Wizzle, Mornington Peninsula's property market is undergoing a resurgence driven by offshore buyers looking to capitalize on the state government's $759 million Peninsula Link project. Properties such as the Red Hill Estate Winery, Eagle Ridge and Moona Links Golf Course are all examples of strong Chinese interest that is moving into this part of Victoria. The record sale of Munda Estate in Mount Eliza to New Zealand aged care developer Ryman Health for $37.5 million was also another landmark peninsula sale in 2016, he said. It's clear to see that a diverse group of buyers are circling around a range of assets in this part of our state, and with the money that has been invested by the government to link the peninsula with metropolitan Melbourne, it is obvious to see why the demand has risen. The home features six bedrooms, a library, multiple entertaining and dining areas, a wine cellar and a mud room. Expressions of interest close February 28 with interested parties invited to offer to acquire the whole of the estate or one or more of its individual lots.